Well, what do we have here? So this right here is something I've been eagerly waiting on. This was a Kickstarter it's back in September time frame, fall, fallish, and now so now we're in, we're in April, probably six months later on. But what this is is what well, what's called is the Mirobot. Um, this is a Kickstarter for a mini industrial robot arm. Six axis. Um, I'll put a link in the, in the description below for the actual Kickstarter so you, so you guys can see it for yourself and their videos and promos and stuff. Um, but what the, the basic um, reward was, was a the robot arm, uh, a pen holder, the there's a micro servo gripper, so basically just you know a two finger gripper. Um, power supply and a high-speed USB cable is what they list. Um, for my backing of it, I got a few extra options, which I'm hoping are, are all in here and we don't have any anything missing, which is the robot controller, so basically like a little pendant, similar to if you guys, anyone runs a CNC machine or any other robotics where you have a pendant where you can control it and not have to go through the computer or PC or whatever else. So I got the controller, I got uh, the suction cup and pneumatic kit, so I can you know pick stuff up pneumatically. Um, there's a GoPro carrier that I'm you know neither here or there on, and I also got the pneumatic two finger gripper. So I think there's the one with the the ball kind of looking thing, the suction and pick up stuff, as well as the two finger one where it's got two suction cups on it. Um, so yeah, that's that should be in here. Oh, and also one one other thing is the the stretch goals. And if we look on their website, we can see that we unlocked almost all of them. All the backers did. Uh, we got the sticker kit should be in this box. Uh, the watercolor brush pen set, basically I guess just watercolor pens that we can use to color. Um, we got the laser engraving head. That should be in here as well. And then the building blocks, which I'm kind of excited about those guys in here, as well as safety glasses, um, I'm guessing for the laser. Uh, we didn't. There was the screwdriver set as, a, as an extra stretch goal, but we didn't get there. But I am perfectly happy with even just what I got as a typical backer. All these stretch goals are, you know, just extra add-on stuff that I get to play with. Maybe I'm, I'm most excited about the blocks, but I figured I want to record this. I want to share you share this unboxing with you guys because I'm sure there's a lot of other other nerds on YouTube or even that follow my channel that uh, would appreciate this kind of stuff. So with that, I mean, you can see it's still still all taped up. Let's let's get into it and let's uh, let's see what's in here. So go ahead and grab the knife. And where should we start? Let's start over here. We got shipping information. Came from uh, Beijing. Is that where? No, Hong Kong. Hong Kong, China. All the way over here to to Georgia and the good old U.S. of A. So. That there we go. Continuing, continuing this unboxing. Rotate this around. Get this side. All right, here we go. There go the flats, the box. Opening up. All right. So what do we got here? We got the a list of all the things that should be in this box. So we got the robot arm, we got the user manual, the hex screwdriver. I'm guessing that's for maybe like the options or stuff that we're gonna put on there. Bluetooth box, extender box, IDC cable, power supply, robot arm USB cable, the micro servo gripper module. Those are the two finger gripper that you saw in the typical video. 
on their Kickstarter. Uh, you got the pen holder, so that's all standard items in the the, the reward sections, and then the backer add-ons section. This is all the special stuff that I got. Um, you got the controller, I guess the USB cable that comes with that. Then you got the pneumatic kit to you know suction stuff up. You got the one suction cup um, holder, the two finger one. You got the high power pneumatic kit. Oh wait, I didn't get that one. So all these ones that are blank, I didn't get. I got the Hero 7 GoPro carrier. And then there's some other, other stuff you can see here. Um, you could have got the sliding rail, the conveyor belt, or even the, uh, the actual robot arm vehicle, which is basically just a four wheel little vehicle that you know they, were, they added on there for us to be able to back if we wanted to. But there we go, that's it. Put that off to the side. Take this foam off. Here we go. What do we have in here? Looks like we have. Here's the user manual. That's cool. Look at this. This thing looks so cool. <laughs> like makes you think of like it's a. It actually looks like a like a Kuka arm or something. It's a little tight. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So we have this guy, this guy just fell off. Where does this go? Oh, this guy right there maybe. Like this this guy doesn't want to stay on there. There we go. Got it. Alright. So there's a little little tiny plastic piece that came off that looks like just a cover for the motor. So it looks like you got a stepper motor and then you got some DC motors on there. Oh no, there's a stepper motor. Look at that. They're actually just tiny. Okay, cool. So there she is. So that's that's the actual motor and I'll try and show you guys up here so you can maybe get a better view. The side camera. We got the USB cable. That I'm guessing is, oh, this guy looks like it's the controller. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's even got like an e stop. Look, this actually, this actually isn't too bad quality. I, I you know, I, I thought it would be uh, not this, I'll say cool looking. So, I mean, it's not powered on, but this, this definitely feels like you can. Hold it and use it. Oh, you can. It looks like a record button, play button, up and down. Looks like a back button, power button. Oh, you got all the different axes here: X, Y, Z, A, B, C. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. These, these are probably all the joints. Um, and I'm sure they probably have it configured to where you can maybe even um, do it depending on how you want to move. If you want to move the just the X, Y, and Z, like in the Cartesian coordinates, or pol or uh, not polar, I guess it's just uh, per joint, or per the tool orientation. It's all cool stuff. If, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I've, I've also, uh, for my day job, have been going to tech school for robotics or mechatronics. So I've, I've already got like a preview. I've, I've actually got one of my certs for um, a FANUC controller being able to to program those guys, those FANUC robots, but I'm, I'm, I totally nerd out on anything mechatronics related, robots, all that. So looks like we got here a power supply, at least one end of it. Is there anything else down in there? No, maybe it's in the other section, but... Okay, so we got power supply. Then we got, looks like these are cables, ribbon cables. All right, you guys probably can't see that because of reflection. In here, this is the pen holder. Looks like it's just two thumb screws. Be able to hold it, hold a pen in there. Uh, oh, look, a stretch goal. So we got, these are the pens. That's the pens, they look cute. <laughs> Uh, what is this guy? Oh, looks like they're just two, uh, 
maybe three three Allen wrenches. These are probably me just hopefully the just a standard set for anything on the robot. Um, what do we got in here? Looks like this is the extender box and Bluetooth box. Okay, I'm guessing this is something with. I mean, it says stepper, gripper, pump, five volt uh, RX TX ground, um, send receive signals, homing button. I'm sure I'll learn about this in the documentation. I sure hope so, but uh, that's cool. We got that. We got here, oh, building blocks. That's neat. We get to, you know, can stack stuff up. One thing I really, what's on my project list is with this guy, I'm gonna go get a, a camera and integrate it so I can go and like find find like the blue block or the red block or just find something and be able to stack it. I know they, they showed that in one of their promo videos, but that's something I, I definitely want to be able to, to do. I just, you know, I would just do that in, anyways. Uh, looks like we got another USB cable. All right. And then, who's this guy? Oh, <laughs> we got our stickers. Who doesn't love stickers? I'm looking, looking at this, looking at the robot. Oh yeah, it looks kind of plain now, but looks like maybe we could do each different joint. All right, that's cool. Let's just, we got a tiny little box in here. What's in here? Looks like we got micro server gripper module. Oh, this is the, just the two finger gripper. I don't know if you guys can see it through the, through the glare. Basically just two fingers, just do that. That's neat, Let's stick that back in there. Anything else in here? We got a box over here on the side. What else we got? Oh, this is all the uh, pneumatic stuff. Okay, so we got, this is the single pneumatic gripper guy. Hopefully you guys can see that through the camera. Then we got this guy. This is the two finger one. So basically it looks like it's just a, one of these single ones, but just with two grippers. So you can maybe clamp on something more broad or larger. And then what's in here? This feels heavy. Stretch goal gifts. Accessory. What is this? Oh, screwdriver set. Look at that. Thought we weren't supposed to get that. Okay, well that's cool though. I can just have this be dedicated for the the robots. Sorry for the squeak if that's loud. Maybe that's because I, I did hear that some people did, we didn't get the uh, the laser. That's one thing I did hear people not getting. Um, but I think we did get this, so maybe that equals out. I don't know. Power cable, this is probably for the other brick that we got, so that's that's good. If not, I got plenty of those in the shop. And it looks like we got a GoPro 7 hold. I wonder if this will hold the, uh, the GoPro 4, Hero 4 that I have. But either way, it's good to know that I have this and you know, that'd be kind of neat to do you know some time-lapse photos with this. And then we got the vacuum pump. So we got that. Looks like it's got a tiny, super, super tiny uh, cable. And that looks like it might be it. So that's one box. Throw that off to the side. Nothing else. There we go. An empty box. So we got the robot. We got the on and off here, got a reset button. Looks, you know, first glance, it looks pretty good quality. I haven't turned it on or done anything, of course, but you know, nothing obviously wrong with it so far. So we got that. We got the pneumatic pump and the pneumatic accessories for the, the grippers. Got the GoPro case, stickers, 
we got the blocks we can play with, and if we need to, oh, I can always make more. Thank you, <laughs> past self, for building a CNC router. I can do custom stuff. So we got wrenches as well, the Allen keys, Allen wrenches, and then USB cable. We got the markers. We got the Bluetooth and extender boxes. This goes here. We got another USB cable. I think this might just be for, oh, I think this actually might be for the controller that I got. The pen grip holder or pen holder. The ribbon cables. I'm guessing this is for connecting yeah, maybe these guys to the boxes. The two finger gripper. And then the tools and then the power supply. So that's it. I can't wait to get this programmed or get this online, get it, you know, get it going and doing maybe just some some, some fun little action stuff but uh thanks for all along guys um i cannot wait to use this program it even like document and share with you guys this stuff that i'm working on i'm hoping that there's nothing nothing wrong with it and we can just get straight into to learning and teaching mode and then do some fun stuff so if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel if you like this stuff or if this video you know meant something uh Subscribe, give me a like, um, or follow me on Instagram. I post more on there. You might see more action video or pictures with this stuff going on. And with that, guys, thanks for following along, and I will see you guys in the next one.